Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. It's Max. Autumn. And Sang. And today we are reviewing Reboot Draculaura. This is the upcoming Draculaura doll um, from the Reboot wave of Monster High dolls um, following the Welcome to Monster High movie. If you'd like details on how we received this doll, um, she isn't available in stores or on Amazon yet. Um, but yeah, for details on how we got her and all that exciting fun stuff, you can watch our previous video about the special scare package we got from Monster High. So this is Draculaura in box. So this is what she's packaged like in her new box. It's once again shaped like a coffin. But unlike other releases, um, this one, the plastic is glued onto the paper backing, so you really have to tear into her to open her. Um, she does not come with a stand, nor a brush. The front of the packaging is... So I just noticed, it's, I thought it like switched up the character it is in the front, but I guess no, it's Frankie's always in the front in this packaging. Yes, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. <laughs> All about Frankie. Okay, this is the back of Reboot Draculaura's box. Um, as you can see, she has, like Frankie, she has a new bio. What I personally think is really interesting about Draculaura's new Reboot bio is apparently now she can fly. Ooh. <laughs> so, they added that. Pretty sure that's a new thing. Also, it doesn't really make mention of her uh, vegan lifestyle. So. Maybe she's not a vegan anymore. <laughs> Never know. I, I doubt they'll go back on that, but it's interesting how they don't mention it. You know, so. I know some new boxes, they don't list their ages anymore. Um, you know, Frankie's probably much older than the couple days old she was in the original story. Well, maybe they're not trying to stick to that so strictly anymore. Interesting to see how it plays out. Alright, and the little skullette on the left of the back of her box, it's Again, kind of just like a little blurb um, about the storyline of the new movie. If you'd like to read it in full, you can go ahead and pause the video. And on the back of this box, we once again see Ari Hauntington as another available doll from this wave, and Frankie Stein, who we previously reviewed. Warnings, restrictions, Mattel information, and barcode. Made in Indonesia. Yes. Okay, so here is Reboot Draculaura out of box. She has cute little curved bangs um, that are... Very Betty Page. Yeah. <laughs> they remind me a little bit of uh, Wave 1 Blondie Locks bangs from Ever After High, how they kind of bubble forward like that. She has black hair with little pink, pink streaks, highlights in it. Um, mm. Just like in her original favorites hairdo, it's in pigtails, except this time has a bit more of a wavy, fluffy poof to it. Which is fun. It's cute. And she has cute little blue bat wing earrings that have a heart at the base and the little wing extending from the heart. I love her earrings. Yeah, they're adorable. As Draculaura always has, she has her little heart birthmark on her left cheek. And just like with Frankie, her eyebrows are a little bit softer with not as much of a arc to them. Mm -hmm. So it gives her kind of a calmer, softer look. Mm -hmm. Which is cute. And she doesn't have... So, well, I think this is interesting about a lot of Dracula releases. Um, it feels like she doesn't have that much pink in her hair until you turn her around. <laughs> Feels like most of the pink in her hair is, you know, visible from behind. I mean, it may just be the particular Dracula you got. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's gonna be like mm -hmm. a thing. Yeah. Well, back to her face. Um, you know, she's like Frankie. Um, she sport. She's sporting very little makeup. Um, her eyes are really big. I don't know if she's wearing any like really like distinguish distinguishable like eyeshadow. Um, I can't see any really. Yeah, I mean she still has brown like eyebrows. I mean they kept that. But in terms of like actual makeup, she's very nude. Um, her mm -hmm. cheeks have a little blush on them. But besides that, I mean she looks pretty bare faced. So correct me if I'm wrong, but um, maybe it's just because her skin <laughs> is pink, but I feel like she actually has less 
blush on her cheeks visible than Frankie. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's harder to pick out. It's just this well, I can still see it, but... Well, remember, her blush is pink and her skin is pink. So. I, yeah, I was wondering if that was why. This uh, Draculaura has very light lips, but it's still pretty, like, ruby red. Mm -hmm. And of course she has her fangs sticking out. Her fangs look really cute. Mm -hmm. um, and like Frankie, um, she kind of has like a smile going on. Oh, oh, she's definitely smiling, yeah. Yeah, like so a... they definitely change either the mold or just the way they apply the lipstick. It gives her more of like a, a happy, smiling look. Does she still have her pointed ears? Ooh, does she? Yes. Oh, yeah? So. Yep. So Hard she's still got yeah. her little pointed vampire ears. That's good. Those are still there. I've always loved those. Mm -hmm. It's easy to forget those around Dracula. Yeah. Her hair almost always covers it. It's always a nice little tidbit. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so here's a better shot of her full outfit, which I love. But let's go into the details of it. As it's all one piece. Is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, Dracula has a collar that is black. Um, this looks also like a blue truffle cloth thing. Yeah, what would you call that little just bow? There's a specific name for yeah, like sure bows that go under the collar. Like yeah, that. I don't know. But I don't, Do I don't know. actually know I that no much idea. of fashion. Um, but it's very bright and eye-catching. I can't really grab a design. I guess it's just ruffles. Yeah, but this whole piece is plastic, as uh, Monster I tend to do now with um, their dolls, is to make the collar plastic. Um, she has um, white ruffles on her shoulders. Yeah, little tiny ruffly sleeves. Mm, ruffles, they're very cute. Yes, and on her shirt, she has a polka-dotted um, pink shirt with a bow design at the very bottom tip right before. There's right yeah, a few of them. Yeah, it's like, like one. Yeah. Yeah, there's one. Thematically, yeah. her whole outfit's covered with bows that kind of look like bats. Yeah, so, so I guess polka dot and a couple of them are little bats. So yeah, super creepy cute. Yeah. Very good with her theme. Yeah, and her little dress continues with that theme. It's got the cute little, it reminds me a lot of Sailor Moon. It's like the little, <laughs> looks like a little heart brooch and like a ribbon, but yeah, the, the bow has like the little um, sharper edges to make them look like bat wings. And you can probably, as you can probably see on camera, um, the dress probably looks very saturated on camera. Um, it's a very, very like metallic pink. Mm -hmm. Looks almost a little bit like shimmery in person. It's pretty cool. At the top of her skirt here, she has like a little, I don't know what you call that, apron-like attachment. Apron, yeah. It's a um, separate black cloth that is kind of like it, spiky, like a bat wing. Mm -hmm. It's attached to the outfit. Yeah, yeah it's attached. I don't know, it's also give you the illusion that there's like a lace overlay on top of a pink skirt, but it's actually all one pattern mm -hmm. filled with hearts and bows. Yeah, there's little blue hearts there. Mm -hmm. uh, something you might have taken notice of at this point is that They've kind of, I don't know if it's a permanent thing, but they've kind of done away with the yellow. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Like, it's like with this color palette, she's pink and blue. Pink and blue, yeah. And you know, Dracula's historically been pink and yellow for some of her releases. Um, but yeah, I mean, my pink and blue is my favorite combination, but. So it's kind of stuck to pink, black, white, but if they ever add another color, it's usually yellow. Yeah, I love her splashes of yellow on like her, like where the releases where she gets it. Art class and it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was always super adorable. Mm -hmm. But I can dig blue. I like this blue a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to imagine those blue accessories if they were yellow, like how that would. Oop, oop, yeah, I think still be cute. So, uh, Draculaura, if you turn to her side, um, has a purse that looks like a bat, or to me, it kind of looks like a candy. Oh, candy. It's, it's like totally candy, candy, like a wrap, yeah. like a like a plastic wrap candy. Uh, but it's a bat. To me, it looks like another bow slash bat. Candy, candy bow bat. Candy <laughs> bow bat. I think all these things work with her, so that's yeah. fine. Oh, <laughs> um, but it's one huge chunk of plastic, you know. But uh, it is a very cute. Pattern. Um, it's the same shade of plastic as the rest of her. Um, well, mainly her shoes, which we will show up in a second. I think it'd be fun to uh, paint the strap black 
I yeah. feel like it's too much one piece right now. But. Yes, these it's kind of like Frankie's purse. Like it's actually like a really well-made accessory. Uh, it's just, you know, the fact that it's completely one color just kind of makes it hard to, it doesn't really pop. But I think, yeah, if you added like paint or customize it, it could be really cool. Draculaura is sporting cute shoes. Um, these pink laced high heels. Yes, they're mostly pink. They have blue laces. I really like that the heel is a bat wing. So that's another little portion though that I kind of wish was a different color. I mean, you can tell me if you think it would be weird or too much, but I feel like it would be cute if the bat wing heel was like black. Yeah, but like maybe starting with the heel and the rest of the bottom of yep. the sole of the shoe, all yeah, black. That That'd would be, cool. be really cute. Yeah, but she has um pretty simple shoes. I mean, eh, her shoes are okay. I like the, I mean, I like the bat wing heel, but other than that, it, you know, it's kind of there. I think it's nice. I mean, obviously, they took an extra step in painting the laces, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. I mean, the thing about Monster High is, um, although they skimp out on a lot of stuff, but they do continue to keep the trend of like really detailed. Um, molds for shoes and accessories. I mean, I like these shoes. I think they you know, spent some time on it. Um, it's not like just a regular pair of shoes that they just throw on. It's definitely made for Draculaura, which I appreciate. Yeah, plus yes. all the attention's really in her outfit, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we have a comparison between new Draculaura and the original Draculaura. So yeah, just to clarify, um, the Draculaura doll on the right is uh, its original ghouls, Draculaura. But yeah, it's of course based on the more classic face mold. It's very interesting seeing these two together um, because what's funny is personally, <laughs> Uh, Draculaura's new face mold was the one I was most concerned about when I saw like the leaks, you know, um, the original leaked images for this reboot. And um, what's crazy is seeing her in person. Um, I feel like she's cuter than Frankie, personally. Yeah. <laughs> so it's I second that. yeah. I mean, I didn't really have a super strong like reaction to new Draculaura. I, I think she, I mean Draculaura to me, like her doll never looked like her show counterpart. And um, this new Dracula is like, her eyes are bigger, so it looks more like her character on the show, more bubbly, more cute. Um, so I appreciate that. But it is a very, very drastic change. I think that's the crazy thing, is like even though I'm okay with this change, like seeing them together, they're really different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, like, new Dracula's lips are larger, they're in more of a smile, eyes are larger, um... Skin tone is softer. Mm -hmm. It follows the same trend where it's, like, reverse of the Ever After High revamp in that, uh, the head actually looks larger than the original head. I mean, you can kind of tell in this picture, but, of course, you know, the new Monster High dolls are on new body types. They're the Ever After High body mold, so they're a little bit thicker and rounder. Um, but you can definitely tell in like both the arms, like, yeah, new Draculaura's arms are... She's got some muscle. <laughs> muscle, muscle. She's packing some heat. <laughs> <laughs> so something interesting I noticed about new Draculaura is that it kind of falls in line with the little bodily change that Reboot Frankie has. Um, new Draculaura, the heart on her cheek, it doesn't have, like, that darker outline. It's just all the one color. More natural for a birthmark, I would suppose. Yeah, that's probably true. I mean, once again, I, I kind of prefer the outline, um, but it's just kind of an interesting little change. Um, I feel like, generally speaking, they're trying to, um, in terms of pretty much anything, like, on the face, makeup, or whatever, um, they want it to be more understated. They don't want, you know, anything really bold to be on the face. As much as I've always loved Monster High, it's like, like the cloud of eyeshadow on the originals, just like completely smeared an inch below and underneath their eyes. I was thought like, really, do any girls actually apply their makeup this way? And so I think the new understated look is a little bit more relatable and cute. But that should just be my opinion. <laughs> um, to me, it feels like um, Monster High is moving a little away, a little bit away from like the gothic look, mm -hmm. like in terms of makeup and how bold 
dark things are. It's a bit more of a like, uh, more younger, cutesy look. I mean, I, I mean, Monster Eye, I mean, but these new dolls still, still look pretty hip. Um, I feel like if I have seen, I, like I were like a new collector and there's these two Draculaurs in store, you know, definitely the new Draculaur might be something more appropriate for a young audience than the more gothic, dark makeup look. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you, I mean, obviously, of course, if you look at classic Draculaura, you know, there's like um, the netting and frills and edgier accessories and makeup. Now her butt hangs out her shirt you know, or her skirt. That thong. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm gonna miss that personally. That's an aspect I really hope they don't get rid of completely. I'm gonna miss the level of detail. Um, like the older yeah. dolls have, but I mean, like yeah. the sewn on buttons. Yeah, and... I mean, I have any super detailed in the original, but again, you know, they were a new line, so they had a lot to prove. Um, but one thing I do notice, and I guess I would appreciate, is they did take into a lot of consideration, like all of the negative buzz they had from parents in the past. You know, we did talk about how old Dracula's butt is sticking out, they definitely made a point. For the new dolls to have their dresses pretty much <laughs> down to their knees. If you, if you're <laughs> like that rule at school, if your dress is shorter than your fingertips, you can't yeah. wear it to school. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, they, they took that into consideration, and I mean, obviously, this is not any reason to justify them for not having layers, but um, definitely um, the whole Claudine midriff thing. Um, they, they. They kind of remedied, remedied with like, um, ze like sewing the outfit together. Well, I mean, I know that we like multi-layered things. We're like a, a multi-layered clothing, like separate pieces. But something I was just thinking about is, it's kind of nice to have it be all one piece. Because I mean, look at original Dracula's clothing. Oh yeah, as you can see, this is the original Dracula's outfit here, and it's all separate pieces, and it's all different materials, and it's really nice. However, when you put in so many pieces together, sometimes it can be hard to make it fit the right way. Like, half of her um, vest is in her skirt, half of it's out of it, her belly's showing, the clothing has frayed edges, it's kind of falling apart over time. Not that that isn't beautiful, it's just that I think this might have more durability, especially for kids. I think. I think, generally speaking, it's give and take. Um, it's like, yeah, if you're gonna have a lot of really super detailed layers, it's like, yeah, of course, it's easier for things to fray, it's easier to lose individual pieces, all that, as where um, when everything's one piece, yeah, it's a lot easier to work with, um, but it just, you know, tends to have a less detailed look. I mean, it is funny, I mean, from my personal perspective, you know, like when I got this like original Dracula outfit that has the real buttons on it, it's really strange how looking at it, it makes it like, oh my gosh, like this looks like such like high-end luxurious doll clothing because we're so <laughs> not used to that amount of layers and detailing and, you know, real buttons and lace and everything like that. Speaking from a personal perspective, um, I know not everyone is going to feel this way, but I mean, I really like that. I really like, like, the really detailed, real clothing. Um, I totally understand why parents might not be that into the whole suggestive kind of look. Um, but I mean, personally, I prefer my dolls to look cutting edge and trendy as opposed to really youthful and, like, bubbly cutesy, but of course mm -hmm. that is better for kids. Well, that's another thing too, and then this is from my personal perspective because I'm really into like the characters. Original Dracula to me looks more like someone whose sense of style has evolved 1600 years. This looks like she went to the nearest justice store <laughs> and got like, whatever she could find that was in her color palette. Mm -hmm. And nothing's wrong with either of those perspectives, it might just be a thing of preference. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they're both cute in their own way. Okay, so these are our final thoughts on Reboot Draculaura. Um, I think as a whole, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I think, yeah, I definitely, you know, she, like I said, I frankly, to be really honest, I prefer her to Reboot Frankie. Um, she's actually quite cute in person, um, you know, I'm okay with this new face. Honestly, this particular new face, I'm okay with. Uh, I'm still of the mindset, I hope they don't scrap the old molds completely, 
but even in the event that they do, assuming they keep moving forward with nice, detailed, beautiful, you know, clothing and accessories and everything, I mean, I'm down with this. It's very cute and sweet in person. And still, I think, like Autumn mentioned, when it, when it comes down ultimately to the character, this still looks like Draculaura, the character, to me. Yeah, I mean, if, I've, if I see this doll in store without, like, prior knowledge, I still pick her up. She's very cute, you know? I, I think um, she is hardcore, very on theme to what I would say Dracula should be. Um, you know, very cute and bubbly. Um, Dracula, you know, to me, she she's really old, but she still has that really youthful look. She's like a Lolita, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean, in terms of look and outfit, I think she's all on point. They definitely feel like they made an effort with her. Um, she is, I mean, she's budget in the sense that her clothing are basic, but a lot of effort has went into her design. Yeah, it's very cute and, you know, um, some of the girls' outfits, um, I feel like if this is her signature look, this is what they're going for for all her press release, all her show things or whatever, um, I'm satisfied how she looks. She's not yeah. something, you know, basic Definitely looking. a nice fresh face for a new era of Monster High. Yeah, so one final thing I would kind of like to say is just, um, you know, for the people out there who are really, really still um, just concerned and freaking out about the reboot, um, I just want to let you know, uh, you know, I was right there with you for a very long time, um, and I have to say, you know, seeing, I mean, granted, I can only say I've seen two of these dolls in person, but the main thing I want to say is, um, Give them a chance. Uh, look, take a look at them in person um, because it really is a different experience um, from you know like the leaked images online and all that. Um, I mean, like I said, uh, especially with Frankie, um, you know, I still have some reservations, but you know, like I said, it's generally speaking, it was very much a pleasant surprise for me. So I would say, give them a chance. So. Once again, like with Frankie, uh, Monster High sent us a second Draculaura doll. Um, so we are going to be having another giveaway. So all you have to do to enter our giveaway to win Reboot Draculaura is subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment below what your favorite Monster High movie is. All right, guys, thank you for joining us for Reboot Draculaura's review, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.